The following video has been rated PG-13 for, eh, it's pretty good, if you're 13. Storms brewing. You know, I traveled pretty far to get away from the constant storms, but... Oh, hello. It's your old friend, Uncle Splore and Ryan, coming to you day number three, two, three, day number three of the uh, the Tennessee vacation. We're in Pigeon Forge. Did a little uh, walk around Gatlinburg earlier today, but uh, kept that family-centric. But tonight, tonight's about putting the kids to bed, because we're going to get sexy. We're not, actually. We're going to walk around Pigeon Forge. We're going to count bears. And we're going to bring in uh, Michael and uh, Becca from NTL Vlogs tonight when we do just a little splorn. Stop number one tonight is the three bears, as Mike has, uh, has called it. My wife and I have been seeing this for years, and we, we've always just thought it was called the Jesus Saves Bears store. It's kind of an interesting amalgamation of uh, bears and religion and velociraptors. Nestled back off the road between the gem mine and the rock and raceway go-karts is this touristy little slice of Americana. They've got uh, kind of an interesting array of different shops, but I think it's all one large property. You can get ice cream, sports collectibles, candy and fudge, salvation, uh, Build-A-Bear, uh, off-brand of course, old-timey photos, and Santa Claus breaking into your house. And according to the sign, you could even see live bears. If you watched our Dollywood vlog the other day, you've probably already seen some of the uh, the gem mining sluice uh, trays. This is obviously taking things to a whole new level, however. Ah, uh, offensive. Look who I found behind us. It's big, fat guy with a beard. I know what you wanted me to say, but I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted and I'm not going to risk getting into trouble. Ah, but we do like our bears. And apparently our tragic dinosaurs. Of course, we need the rain and the wind and the lightning to hold off just a little bit longer. Bears. Bears. And good grief. Wow, Jesus Saves Bears is even bigger than I thought it was. Oh yeah, and bears. Now if this is the Jesus Saves Bears store, then one can only assume that this is the stairway to heaven. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just more bears. Can it be? It is. It's a fudgery. Mm, sort of bears. Honey butter? Don't they realize they're going to attract the bears? Well then, headed back downstairs again, foiled by another sign that says no, uh, no videotaping. Even though it's digital taping, I, you know I don't want to ruffle any feathers. But uh, there are bears upstairs, sort of. They're outside. You pay three twenty-five, and you can look out over over the bears from a, a balcony. And speaking of being foiled. Looks like Mother Nature has caught up to us. But are we going to let a little rain stop us? Yes. For the next few minutes? Yes, we are. Yeah. Sure. These are available, by the way. I'm sure you already know about this, but they are available for sale. And, and, and how could yeah. these fine okay. folks at home get their hands on one of it's these? It's so hard. These shirts are $23. You have to send a check or a money order to P.O. Box 21, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, 37868. That's what I forgot. Yes. Was. By the way, this is not stock art right here either. No, this, no. This, this was drawn. Yeah. This was drawn by Scott Bartlett. He is a friend of mine and an amazing, amazing artist. He's actually drawn two more. 
yeah. that we're going to go Paul's find out about designs. tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, two more designs. Yeah. So you guys are, I mean, you're, you're ground floor for this. Yes, this yes. is brand new. These, are, these brand just new. came out. What? Breaking news. Stop Mama. the presses. This is this is why you have to watch the Splorn vlog. I mean, it's just it's it's all of your NTL vlog T-shirt news when you need it, <laughs> yeah, where right. you need it. That's yeah, right. I'm sure that's it. I'm sure that's what they want to know about yeah. T-shirt news. Yeah, right. Certainly. That's Michael that. and Becca, T-shirt people. Subscribe below, bell. Yeah, bell. Yeah. Tickle it. Oh yeah, tickle it. Tickle it. Tickle. 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 <laughs> just kind of moseying down the main drag, and I want to point out uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, I think it's bears. So now that the locals here, the local experts are here, Becca and Michael, uh, we're, we're going down the main strip of, of Pigeon Forge, which runs all the way down to Seaverville, Sevierville, Severville, all the way back to Gatlinburg. And if you've ever watched the NTL vlogs before, you kind of know the lay of the land generally. But if you've never done this before, there are hotels and attractions all over the place, and also bears. This is the comedy barn. Taking a quick second, I want to show you the uh, the birds. The birds. Something's wrong. I'm a vlogger, and yet these birds aren't attacking me. Hmm. More fudgery. All right, Stages yeah, West, right here. This is the big boot store that they opened a couple years ago, and I cannot imagine how much money they spent on the displays for these boots. How much do cowboy boots cost? Somebody told me that they, they start for like crappy pairs, like 150 bucks, and to get into the good ones, you, you know, you're talking multiple hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars for a good pair of cowboy boots. I mean, that would that pay for a lot of cool window displays, but how much do they cost? Indeed. I'm really asking. I like them Put them below. I want to show you guys a little bit behind the scenes here with, with MTL Vlogs. Again, they're out here vlogging every night, and I want to show them a little bit behind the scenes. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I'm reading comments right now, and I saw one that said... So, if you're watching this after the fact, he might read your comment right now. How cool would that Ronda be? Rhonda says, they are crap. I tried one Friday. So, now, something is crap. Rhonda, what are we talking about? No, 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 no. no. I think she's talking about... Michael's just slagging local wrap, businesses I at this point. Think, but I'm not sure. Uh, so my, the neck my rack autocorrect is terrible. My YouTube oh, live yeah. streaming autocorrect. Yeah, you're very I believe good she's at it. Well, this bag. this backfired horribly. <laughs> They've had the Crown Museum here in uh, Pigeon Forge for a while, but this is new. They've rebuilt everything. This is Alcatraz East Crown Museum, and it looks like they got somebody trying to get out right about now. The first time I was here in Pigeon Forge, I want to say it was 2009, give or take, I was blown away. I, I had been into the Smoky Mountains years ago with my family, but not this area. And to me, the Smoky Mountains were just, uh, it, was, it was just mountains and cabins and woods and bears and, uh, and stuff like that. And, and to come down this road not expecting anything and seeing crazy stuff like this, crazy stuff like that, crazy stuff like that I mean it's it's a lot to take in this is not this is not the Tennessee that people are thinking of when they think of Tennessee the island is kind of new too I want to say the island's been here for about four ish years maybe five years now got Margaritaville back there got the got the uh, the spinny contraption of amusement we did a, a little bit of an in-depth walkthrough over here a couple days ago, and if actually, if you if you reach down below into the uh, the, the the bar down below, you can click the channel name Sworn Ryan, and it'll be to you too. And you can click onto uh, videos, and you can find if you are interested the island at Pigeon Forge. I understand, Becca, that there's a celebrity in our midst right now. Right over here, Michael has told me there's a singer of some sort. Is that correct? Yep. Who, who's over here? Elvis, but he's not here tonight. 
Uh, Elvis has left the building. Yes, he has left the building. He performs on Friday and Saturday. Uh, Elvis, you're lazy. <laughs> I do come over. And, and dead, unfortunately. Rest in peace. I want to take you for a quick view of one of my favorite places here in Catlinburg, and it is this. Laserport. It's uh, Blacklight Mini Golf, as you can see. It's an arcade, it's ice cream, it's go-karts, it's laser tag, it's awesome. As you can see, this track is one of the elevated tracks. They've got a whole bunch of elevated tracks here in Gatlinburg, but this one features what I like to call Death Hill, which you can see right here. And I'm sure there's some other vloggers who you've already seen doing Death Hill, but let me tell you, until you've been on it, you cannot properly fathom just how crazy steep that really is. Looking inside, you can see the arcade over here, laser tag and mini golf, ice cream. I'm not gonna take you all the way in because they get a little, they get a little uncomfortable when people come in there and start uh, putting a camera in everyone's face. Apparently there's some bad people in the world. But when you come to Pigeon Forge, make sure you look for the laser port arcade. Look for the alien popping out. Come on in, but before you do, grab yourself a coupon book. The coupon books are all over the place. You could usually get a buy one, get one deal on all this stuff. Because Uncle Splorin is all about saving you money. There's a, uh, there's pigeons apparently living right up there. And there's always these folks waiting in line. Waiting in line, but never quite going. But you want to see something horrifying? What is up with that guy's arm? <laughs> I don't know if it still works, but there's a there's a T-Rex head. There's a T-Rex head that comes right out of there. Although I haven't seen it come out lately, so it might not be operational anymore. So after years of seeing it from outside, I'm gonna film it from outside and then turn my attention towards, uh... You. Another little tourist tip for you if you are new to the Pigeon Forge area and you're looking for a great place to stay. Red Roof Inn has uh, some great prices, has a delicious continental breakfast, and has... BEARS! This is the Pigeon Forge that most people know. This is go-karts, this is mini-golf, this is rides, this is arcades. This is a weird airbrush thing with probably vaguely offensive and horrifying t-shirts. This is my Pigeon Forge. Now, the NTL Woggs family, who, who is from here and has been from here for quite some time. Oh, yeah, for 20 yeah, 39 years. 39 years. Her, she's been here a whole lot. Minus one when I lived in Orlando. Like she's from my neighborhood. I was, so. I was born and raised in them treacherous parts of Florida. I was born in that mountain right Florida. there, over there. I was born there, and I've lived there Right there. Since. Green estate in the land of the free. <laughs> Behind us, uh, you know, like I said, we got the, the go-karts, we got the putt-putts. Let me ask you guys this. You've, you've done most of the putt-putts, most of the, yes. the, the, the go-karts out here. Top three, if you're a tourist and you only have a couple days, top three fun centers. Or fun. Or fun. That's in Gatlinburg. In Gatlinburg. Hillbilly Bit Golf. Hillbilly Golf, Hillbilly Hillbilly golf is the best... Putt putt. Period. 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 That Fun place is, is amazing. Laser tag. They've got putt putt, two or three courses. Bumper, no bumper cars. Bumper cars. No, bumper cars. no inside, inside they have the bumper yes. cars. Yes. Yeah. Now, go karts in Pigeon Forge the track. and the Fun Center in Pigeon Forge. I think it would be the track or Rock and Raceway. I'm gonna have to say Rock and Raceway uh -huh. just because yeah. of the the, the, the combined yeah. experience. Yeah. The inside's amazing, their games are amazing, the go karts are, are, are on the okay side, not the best, oh. but it's still fun, the, the experience. Have, have you filmed all these places already? Most of them. So really, if, if you want to see oh, yeah. these places, oh, yeah. tell them where they're going to find you, if they haven't already. Okay, MTL Vlogs on YouTube. Go there, subscribe. We've got about a month left of summer, so if you, ha if you don't see the Fun Center, that you want to see on there, by the end of the summer it'll be on there. That's Because right. we've got a list of stuff we have to accomplish before the end of summer. Yeah. And, and let me point out something. Mike is, is a lot like me. We, we both have the finger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we both have the finger. We're always pointing. Yeah. I actually... At, uh, things that aren't there. One of the new t-shirts. Let me let this Let me let this out on the floor. Yeah. Right. t-shirts mm -hmm. the design made by Scott Bartlett mm -hmm. 
it's never too late to give somebody the finger. And it's my finger, like, you know, pointing like this. It's, it's perfect. Unreal. And you guys are going to be able to buy this t-shirt and see this t-shirt debuting on NCL I'm, Blogs. It yeah, actually yeah, debuted okay. a couple days ago. Yes. Yeah, we, we're going to talk to the printing guy tomorrow about the yeah. new shirt. So, I don't know. We'll it's find coming. out tomorrow. Go to NTO Vlogs on YouTube and you'll find out. And subscribe while you're there. Yeah, subscribe. You'll oh. find out where all the shirts come there's, from. There's a bell, I understand. Yeah, subscribe. tickle the bell. Tickle it sensually. <laughs> and, uh, only sensually. Only sensually. And hey, we're going to see you next time when we do just a little splash.